Hi everyone, this is Jen from the Hingham Public Library. I'm going to show you how to make a drip paint pot. This program is being held remotely as an alternate means of public access to library programs and services. You are hereby advised that no portion of this program may be recorded without the permission of the Hingham Public Library. For this workshop, you're going to be using thin acrylic paint. I recommend CraftSmart brand, which you can pick up at Michael's or online. Give your paint a shake, and if it's really thin, that's the one to use. All right, let's get started. So when I say this is a really basic project, it's it. you could spend five minutes on this, you could spend 15 minutes on it. You can go back after it's dry and add more. It's really customizable, which is fun. Um, so we'll get right into it. I, I suggest the darker colors first, but again, play around and, and see what works for you. So if you wanna paint along, once you kind of see me doing the process and you get it, feel free to join in if you, if you have the materials. And if you don't have the materials, you can learn this pretty quickly. So I start by, I turn the pot upside down. Again, I have it on this paper um, to catch the drips. So how big of a drip you get is dependent on really how much you squeeze. So you wanna experiment with squeezing more, squeezing less on there. So I'm just using the hole that's on the top to turn it. And you don't have to have it be an even spacing. And you can play around with that too. So you can see it started and then it catches this lip and it's gonna keep, it, it has a mind of its own. Really shake these, even though they're pretty liquidy, you wanna make sure that you catch any of the the clumps that are in there. Um, so what I thought was fun when I was experimenting was going right next to the color that I had already done, and it helps the colors mix as they're as it's dripping. You get more swirling. You can even layer it right on top. So you can see how that one, you'll still see some of the black on the sides, but it will mix too. And as I get going with this, you'll see the kind of the cool effects that it makes. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one like just in the middle, maybe like add more. So I just did a lot on that one and that's gonna give me a nice wide drip. Let's see. I went all the way, let's go with, I'm gonna go with this dark blue here, or turquoise blue. What I thought was kind of neat too was as it was drying, as it dripped more and more and mixed more through through the dry time, I was see you start to notice the really cool effects that it makes. When I said this is an easy project, I wasn't kidding, right? It's like, it's it's great, but it makes a beautiful pro a, a craft. So I'm going now with the orange, and that's that's why I suggested the darker colors underneath because it's fun to have that pop going right over it. So I'm going to mix right in the middle there. And if I just do like a little squeeze. You can see what that does. So that one, I really just squeezed a little bit and it's probably gonna stop eventually before it hits the, the dip. So the other thing that I noticed was I let it dry and of course, you know, you can start to see at the bottom here how it's pooling. Um, it, when I woke up in the morning, it was all stuck to the table here. Um, I think it might be helpful to maybe put it on a piece of wax paper to let it dry. That's a good kind of preventative. But what I'm going to end up doing on, so that's what I'm talking about. You can kind of see 
on this one how let's see if I can turn you can see how it's kind of unfinished on the top of this other pot that I did it just doesn't have as smooth of a look as as this does so I might go in um, and do the drips just on the top with the with the pot paint it turn the other way let's let's see I kind of went all around with that orange oh I really like how this one the black the black and the green here did a nice little thing and paper towels are helpful too I didn't have that in the materials I'm gonna go in with a light green now let's fill this in and it's it's nice to have the terracotta underneath and think about color options um, when you're thinking about color options, also consider that terracotta color because you're, it's inevitable that you'll have some of that color coming through, some of that reddish. Um, so, but I, I found that all of these colors really worked with, with the terracotta. So it's whatever you, whatever you like for colors will work. You could do this with two colors. Well, that's going to be cool right there. It goes in starting to fill in. I'll go in with some yellow. So I think Michaels is doing a curbside option now um, so that you can, and you can also go into the store now too, if you're comfortable with that. And this, this paint, the, again, the craft smart paint is definitely the best. So I think once I put that yellow in, the lightest colors. So again, I worked with, I had my colors all picked out and then I started with the darkest. So I did the black, I did the darker green, um, and now I'm going on the top with the yellow, the bright yellow. It's called bright yellow, actually, <laughs> like the name. That's cool. And I'm really kind of I'm when I'm when I'm squeezing when I'm squeezing it I'm really just on the tip of the rim there and it spills right over. I'm gonna go in with some white and then after I do that I'm gonna go back in maybe with some of the maybe some orange just some of the other colors and just play around a little bit too. So you can see how easy this is to customize and it, it takes a pretty basic skill level. You could do this really with all ages. If you have little ones, this is definitely something you could do with them too. There we go. After the pot has dried for 24 hours, you can flip it around and repeat the process on the inside. I also painted the saucer using the drip technique, and to get the marbling effect, I moved the saucer while the paint was still wet. Once all of the paint has dried for about 48 hours, you can spray the pot with a clear coat so you can put it outside. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to send me an email.